Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my second update for my spring project, Use It Up. So I'm going to go over all the items I finished, which is a pretty solid amount, as well as the items I'm still working on. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So first up, I finished the Pomegranate and Geranium Fine Fragrance Mist. This, I'm pretty sure I said it in my last update, but I was using mainly as a room spray because it smelled really pretty, but just a little bit too floral for something I wanted to wear on myself. So I used it in the room, made the apartment smell super, super good, but I'm really happy that I finished it off. Um, start of the project, it was almost brand new, one month, and then I finished it up. Then I also finished the Pacifica Island Vanilla Scrub. This one, I love the scent. I love Island Vanilla. It's just such a good scent. The actual like color of the scrub was like a, a sandy brown kind of a color. Not my favorite. It just tends to make the shower a little extra messy. Um, but then again, <laughs> I guess all scrubs make the shower a little messy. These you can just see a bit better. But the overall texture of it was fine. It wasn't something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get a new one ASAP. Oops, sorry, I've got the crate of the empties and it's settling, but it was really nice. Something I'd get again if I found it, if I was feeling it, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I need this now. And I believe started the project and then I did not use it the first month. And then this last month I used it completely. Also finished my Sun Blooms and Suede Mist. This one I was using like constantly for work really pretty like sweet raspberry scent with like a little bit of almost like a vanilla kind of sweetness in the background really pretty but start of the project one month and i cranked it out like i said i was wearing this constantly really pretty scent something i really enjoyed but not necessarily something i'm like oh my gosh i need another one so i enjoyed it but again glad it's gone i finally finished my gingham love you guys so if you've been watching me for a while, this is one of my like least memorable scents for whatever reason. It's just like, I, I can't even remember what it smells like. Like it's a more berry version of gingham, which I love gingham. So I thought this would be perfect, but it was just so forgettable in my collection. But start of the project one month and then I just had a little bit left to finish. I did that, it is gone. I'm glad it's gone. At this point, it was just taking up space in my collection, space that can be taken up by things I actually love and enjoy, not just kind of tolerate. Then I also finished this little, what is this? Hibiscus and Rose Water Bolero Mist. I got it at Dollar Tree. It's one of those things, it just smelled like roses, like very strong rosy scent for two minutes and then it didn't smell like anything. <laughs> so actually I just, again, used this as a room spray, made the apartment smell really good for about five minutes and then I couldn't smell it anymore. Um, started the project and one month was right there. So literally had the tiniest amount left to finish. Not something I'd purchase again, even though it's only a buck 25, I just, I don't think it's worth it. And I finished my little cactus blossom. So this one is a fine scent. The more I used it, it was kind of like the less I liked it. Like it's pretty, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just prefer like Sweet Petal Pound Cake, Ice Lemon Pound Cake, you know, the sweeter stuff, stuff like that. So this was fine, but it's not something I'd repurchase. Um, start of the project and then the one month and then cranked it out, no problem. Again, I use this a lot for work. I think I used it around the apartment once, like just to finish up the teensiest little bit or whatever, but it was pretty, not something I'd get again. I finished my Gingham Gorgeous Moisturizing Body Wash. This one, I had the tiniest amount left. So start of the project and then one month, I think it was like two, maybe three showers worth. So this was super easy to finish. Really pretty scent. I do enjoy it. The more I'm using it, the more I'm enjoying Gingham Gorgeous. It's still not to the level where like Gingham Vibrant, I love Gingham Vibrant, but it's pretty. It's a nice pretty floral with like a little bit of a strawberry peachiness thrown in. I think it's really pretty. Um, so I really enjoyed this. Probably not something I'd repurchase because it's just a like, not a love sort of a thing. And then same deal, finished the hand cream in the same scent. I had the tiniest amount left. So I think I just brought it into work. I'm constantly lotioning my hands at work because I, I, there's just dry. It's just dry this time of year. My hands get dry. We literally have like a drawer in our department that just has a bunch of different like lotions and hand creams. 
because all of our hands get super, super dry. So I used this up in like two days at work, just finishing that last bit off, but really pretty scent. I did really enjoy it in the hand cream. I would probably repurchase it in this form if they still sell it. I don't know what pieces of Gingham Gorgeous they still sell. I know at least like the mist is still available, but past that, I have no idea. And then I just finished my Strawberry Snowflakes body scrub. I literally just finished this last night. This smells so good. Like it's one of my favorite forms of strawberry snowflakes. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about this. It's like an extra creamy strawberry, like even more so than the mist. Probably the lack of alcohol because you know, all the mists have alcohol, but I really enjoyed this. It's something I thought I had two of it, but I think I have two, um, Snowflakes and cashmere. I don't know that I have another one of this kicking around, unfortunately, but hopefully they bring it back this upcoming Christmas season. You know, in the future, I'm not ready for Christmas yet, but eventually, but it was really pretty. I really enjoyed it. Um, started the project and yep, there's a line for one month and then finished it up. Also finished this Dove Kiwi Seeds and Cool Aloe. Um, it was right there the end of last month. So I think I had like one maybe two uses left. So I just cranked it out, no problem. The scent was fine. I like the Dove formula. It's not one I would repurchase. If I'm gonna get another Dove, I'm gonna get the crushed macadamia and rice milk. Like that's just the best scent, um, which I'm out of all my Dove ones. So the next Dove I get will be that one. But I wanna work through a couple more scrubs first before I like add back into my collection. But regardless, I finished this one. It was fine, not something I'd repurchase. Then I finished Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. Let's see, I guess I didn't use it at all the first month, but finished it. Really pretty scent, a nice sweet vanilla with like a heavier floral note to it, but it's still really pretty. Um, I liked it, it's something, I don't know, I've used two minis at this point in like consecutive projects. So I'm ready for a little bit of a break but it's something if they were to ever bring this back, I would definitely pick it up because I did enjoy it, but I'm just, I'm ready to like take a step back. Then I also finished my Bare Vanilla Lotion. So literally scraped out like every last bit I could get. Such a good scent. The texture on this is so interesting because it's like a cross between, like it's a midpoint between a Bath & Body Works lotion and a Bath & Body Works body cream. Like it's a it's a thinner consistency than a body cream, but thicker than a lotion sort of a thing. Smelled really good. The texture and like the actual moisturization was really nice. I really enjoyed this. Um, I actually, I just placed a Victoria's Secret order and I may or may not have ordered another one of these because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm so excited. I can't wait to like share that haul with you guys once it comes in. I got some really exciting little goodies. Some of the new launches that like, I I'm excited. I'm really excited. Cannot wait to share that with you guys. But back to this, I finished it. Let's see, um, it's, it's in pieces. So I'll show you what I can, but started the project one month and then finished off the rest this month. I put a heavier focus on this this month because this is like the transitional, from winter to more spring weather. But I wanted to make sure I finished this this month because I feel like in May, we'll still probably get some rainy days, some cooler days. But like as far as like bare vanilla weather, I think we're finally moving out of that into like actual warmer spring, gingham gorgeous, gingham vibrant kind of weather. So I just wanted to make sure this was all finished up because once it's too warm, I'm not gonna wanna wear it. But regardless, I really enjoyed it. I have already repurchased. And I, I, don't know, I was just really happy with it. I also finished my little Gingham Vibrant perfume, the little mini guy that I had kicking around. So started the project one month. And this is one I would just like touch up throughout the day with it, regardless of what my other scent was, because it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty blackberry scent. I love this one. I just, I'm so happy that I have a full size because I can continue to enjoy it. I, I just really liked it. I had a good time. I love this. Like I said, I've already got a big size, so I've technically already repurchased, but I love it. And I finished my Gingham hand cream as well. So started the project one month, finished this up, no problem. It's so strong. Oh my gosh, near the end, I was kind of getting a little like sick of it because it's such a strong scent. I don't think I have another one of this. I know I've got a couple Gingham vibrants kicking around. I don't think I have another Gingham. If I do, I'm gonna wait a minute <laughs> to use it because I got a little little tired of this at the end because it's just so strong sometimes. 
but I enjoyed it. It's something I would consider repurchasing eventually, but if not, I've got so many other forms of the scent. Like, I love the scent. All right, last but not least for empties, I finished these two pocket backs, Wildberry Lemonade and Pineapple Mango. Pineapple Mango was almost gone at the end of last month. I had like one or two uses left. I don't know why I didn't just like crank it out and finish it beforehand, but it's gone now. Wildberry Lemonade I had not used at all. I used the entire thing this past month. Um, I also have an item that went missing. Um, my Radiant Sky pocket bag. It was on my purse in my little like mushroom pocket bag holder and I got in the car one day and it was gone. So I don't know if like the, the pocket bag holder was just too loose so it just slipped out never to be seen again or if it's like hiding somewhere in the apartment or at work. I have no idea what happened to it. I've used it a couple of times so still mostly full but that one is gone. I doubt I'm gonna be able to find it at this point. If I do, I'll show you updates as we continue on this project, but more than likely it's just gone, never to be seen again. So first up, I'll do my little like strawberry routine. So strawberry pound cake mist first and foremost. Started the project one month and right here. Still got about halfway left of the mist. It just wasn't a priority this month. Still super stinking pretty. Really love this scent. I just need to give it a little more attention. Then same deal with the body cream. Um, I didn't give it a lot of love this past month because I was really focused on bare vanilla and just like using some of my other stuff. I've still got about halfway left, but I love this scent. This is one, it needs to go <laughs> by the end of May though, because it's so yellow, it's getting so yellow. And it's to the point like, if I'm having issues with it, I will just convert it to an in-shower product, just use it as an in-shower body lotion. I have no problem with that. I'd prefer to continue to use it on my body as regular lotion as long as possible, but because of how yellow it's getting, we'll kind of, we'll play it by ear. And then I'm so stinking close to finishing the body wash. I've got just that much left, so little tiny bit left. This is like a strong maybe a week's worth, probably even less. Um, this, I love this. It smells so pretty. It's such a good scent. But I was focused on some other things this month. I'll go over that more in my empties video. I've got a whole boatload of goodies to share with you guys for that. But regardless, I have not finished this yet. I'm getting really, really close though. And then moving on to making them gorgeous. So body butter, I think I used it once. So I put just the tiniest little amount of progress. It, I honestly can't remember if I used this or not. It's such a pretty scent though, but I kind of, I like divided my project into two this past month. So the more like floral fruity scents I pushed off to be like more heavily focused on in May. And then the more like sweet scents, strawberry pound cake scents, things that are a little bit more deep wintery type scents or like transition from winter to spring scents, I focused on more this month. So you'll see more progress on like what is it called? Sweet Petal Pound Cake. I finished my bare vanilla, stuff like that. So something that's like super springy, flowery, fruity, I, I'm gonna use more in May. That was like my plan. So same sort of situation with this. I used, I mean, probably once, maybe twice. It's not that I don't like the scent, but it just, it was not the primary focus this month. And then as far as the perfume goes, I'm actually making like really steady progress. So that's coming along really nicely. This is the sort of thing though, like if I use it like four days in a row, it'll be gone sort of a thing. Oh my, it's so pretty. I'm like half tempted if they still sell the full size to pick that up for my birthday. I'm um, just as a little, you know, gift to myself because it's so pretty. But like, I also, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm still, you know, enjoying this, still playing with it. I might pick up the full size at some point. I don't know yet, but I still, I, I love this. And then moving on to my Thousand Wishes set. I, I did not do very well with this one this month. So this probably got the most use out of the whole set. And even then that's not a lot of use. I just, again, I was focused on other body washes this month. And then this, I didn't use the mist. I didn't even touch it. It's so pretty though. But again, focused on other things. So I'm sure, yeah, I didn't touch the lotion either. It's just one of those months. 
And then the hand cream I'm almost done with. This is the kind of thing at work I can finish it in like two days, like no problem. So this will be gone very soon, definitely before anything else. So up next is my little Kingdom Vibrant routine. So we'll start off with the item that is not Kingdom Vibrant, as Amethyst Waves, which I'm making also very steady progress on. Like those lines are almost like super evenly spaced, but I've got less than half the bottle left. It's a really pretty scent, something I've been wearing to work a lot. Not the kind of thing where I'm like, I need more of this. I'm happy with all the gingham vibrant in the world. This just has something, it might be the sandalwood, it might be the blooms, but it's just not my favorite. But gingham vibrant, however, I've still got quite a bit of the mini mist left. This is what I tend to use at night when I use like the lotion and the shower gel and like that routine. The amethyst waves I tend to use for work. So this just has less use on it because I haven't been using these a ton. Like I think that was, I used that once or twice. The shower gel's not even gone yet, which if you guys know me, I finish shower gels so quickly. So this goes to show how little I've been using this scent this month. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I love this scent. Like I said before, I think it's gonna be really good for May when every day or most every day is sunny and bright and warm and springy. This past month just wasn't that. But in May, I can see myself finishing this. I can see myself just loving it even more. So it'll be on by the end of the project, just didn't make it happen this month. And then the last set that I have is my Sweet Puddle Pound Cake slash Rose set. So I figure we'll start off with the scrub. Um, I've got a little bit left, not a ton, probably I'd say four showers worth, maybe three, like uses, not showers, <laughs> not showers. I don't use it every shower, but I don't love the scent. The more I use it, the less I like it. It's just such a strong rose scent. I initially, when I first smelled it, I got more of like a rose water scent, which I really like. I prefer rose water over rose, like hands down every time. But this is such a heavy rose scent. It's just not for me. It's one, once it's gone, I'm not getting anything else in this scent. I know they've got the shave oil and the body lotion and the scrub and the body butter. And I think they have a body wash now too. It's not for me. It's not my scent. Moroccan rose, like y'all can have it. I'm good. Once this is gone, I'm never touching it again. Then as far as the Method Pure Peace Body Wash, made really good progress this month because I didn't have the Sweet Petal Pound Cake Body Wash to use instead. So this was the primary focus for this routine. Um, I also find Method Body Wash is just really easy to use. And this is more of that rose water scent. So it's so much better in the shower compared to Moroccan Rose, in my opinion. It's not the sort of thing like once it's gone, I'm going to immediately repurchase. Like it's a good thing to have in the springtime, but any other time, like it's just fine. But I'm enjoying it so far. I cannot wait for this bottle to be gone though. Now onto Sweet Petal Pound Cake Lotion. Still making really steady progress. Obviously used it a little bit less this past month. But again, I was so heavily focused on Bare Vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's just, it's so sweet. It's got a little bit of like a cakiness to it. There's a little bit of like a flowery, fruity aspect as well. I love it. I'm so glad I have a backup lotion. I've got a back, like a whole backup set. I think I have two mists, but I love the scent. This is like the perfect kind of spring scent. And then as far as the mist goes, I've still got a little bit left, like maybe a third of the bottle. So stinking pretty. Oh my gosh, this, I, 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 I wanna be wearing this right now. I'm wearing Ice Lemon Pound Cake today mixed with Finery's Pistachio Please because I saw, I believe it's Jasmine Bullard. I, don't, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She posted like a community post about like pistachio fragrances and she mentioned pairing the Kaali with Ice Lemon Pound Cake. And so I did what I could do with mine and I think it smells really good. But this makes me wish I was smelling it today, like smelling like it today, cause it's just so pretty. So definitely the one I'm gonna be using tonight because I just, I love it. It's such a good scent, but it's a little bit sweeter. So it works for like that transitional period that we're in right now. But regardless, I'm making really good progress. This will definitely be done by the end of the project. Now, really quickly, the last scrub that's in the project, vitamin C, have not touched. I was focused on other scrubs. 
this one will definitely be like top priority this next month, especially once I finish like the Moroccan rose. Um, I think this is my only other scrub in the project. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be done by the end of the month, by the end of May, because it'll be the one I'm using. Now onto the final lotion. So I did not make a lot of good progress on this one, unfortunately, and I just smudged the lines all over the place. So bear with me. But start of the project, one month, two months. I'm at the widest point. Oh, this is the Johnson's lotion, by the way. Really good scent, really nice formula. For a while there, I was using it as like a base layer and then I put whatever other lotion on top. But then I just got out of the habit of that. So I just need to get back into that habit because it was working really well. My skin was just super soft and hydrated. I was using this very, very regularly. I enjoy the product, but I just, again, I need to get back into that mindset, back into that routine, and then this will be gone before I know it. All right, so then moving on to the other mists. So first up is Strawberries and Champagne. So I'm still kind of figuring out how I like this one. I think the last time I wore it, I paired it with Gingham Gorgeous, like the perfume. That was really pretty. But it's just, it's not as sweet as I was hoping. So I'm trying to introduce a little bit more of like a sweetness. Um, and I'm still not doing a very good job. I'm wondering if maybe pairing it with like, um, like strawberry icing from True Fragrance to kind of amp up like the sweet strawberry, cause that's a fairly like <laughs> sweet in your face strawberry. Um, I'm wondering if maybe that will work for it. Cause I like it. I think once I find out like the pairing for it, I'm gonna like it even more. But regardless, start of the project one month and then right here. So I've made some progress, but honestly, it's still very, very long ways to go. And then Body Ecology's Wildflowers, still haven't used it. I need to just commit. I need to just chuck it on one day, maybe pair it with like Flower Bed from Finery, a really pretty floral scent that I love, or just like find something, just try something, because I'm not gonna touch it if I don't just bite the bullet and do it. And I just need to do it. So that's my goal this next month. Even if I use it like twice, that'll be fantastic. I just, I need to try it. And then same deal, Japanese cherry blossom, I have not used. If I don't use it by the end of May, it's just going straight to my sister. This is her favorite scent. So that's why I want to try it because she loves it. So I want to give it a go. But if I don't like it, I know I can just give it to her and she'll be super happy. Have not tried it yet, need to just bite the bullet and do it. And then last up for Miss, this is my year long project item. So that is Into the Night paired with Sun Ripe and Raspberry. I do this every time. I need to figure out a better way, like just like cut off part of the label or something to show you guys. But I am right here on the mist. So like just below where it says Fine Fragrance Mist on the back. So that makes me <laughs> still have so much of the bottle left so much left, but pairing it with Sun Ripe and Raspberry makes it tolerable so I can wear it that way. So what I need to do is just like take a week where I wear this every night or take a week where I just, I just need to commit and use it, you know? But when you think about it, like I've still got till the end of the year to finish this. And then this is just like along for the ride. So it's not necessarily like, oh my gosh, I need to finish this sort of a thing. It's just these two together is how this is going to get used still working on it slow but steady progress but progress nonetheless so then the final item in my project you know the final item i can actually find is my firecracker pop pocket back and this one i go back and forth on the scent all the time some days i love it and then some days i can't stand it i'm in one of those ruts right now where i just i cannot stand it so it's on my purse, I guess in the hopes that it also disappears maybe, I don't know. But this past month I used almost a third of the bottle, so that's pretty cool. But this is on my purse at the moment. Fingers crossed I can finish it by the end of May, but I mean, we'll see. All right, so that is everything in my project, everything I emptied, everything I'm still working on. Sorry if this was a bit of a lengthier video. I feel like I just get to talking. So I try and like breeze through products, but I just enjoy chatting with you guys. So I wanna know if you guys are doing any projects as well. Are you doing like a one month project? Are you just focused on like one scent right now that you wanna finish up? Are you dabbling in a whole bunch of different things like I am? I wanna hear from you guys. If you have any, like, if you do videos on projects, link them down below. I love watching project use it up videos. It's just like, it's so satisfying to like watch 
the progress on items, just finishing up items, especially if it's something you enjoy. I don't know, I just, I love watching those types of videos. So definitely leave me recommendations or like links to your channels if you film, stuff like that. I, uh, that would be so much fun. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.